And the funny thing was, when we started, a lot of people looked at us, and I'll never forget that greasy sales video that we made when we first started. And I say greasy because we both actually looked like a couple of ex-homeless guys, if you remember that thing. Dave's hair was long, and I think he just got out of the shower, put a bunch of peanut oil in it or something, and he came out. I mean, he actually looked snake oily, you know what I'm saying? And I was all kind of bug-eyed, could be bent up for five days straight, staring at computers, of going over the, the sales video and going over the, the vision of the company and shooting the videos. And for a lot of people who don't know this, we actually shot a lot of the videos that are up on the site right now before we started the company. And that's important for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, it's important because we set an intention and we knew exactly what we wanted and we shot all of those videos before any of it ever existed. Did you guys hear what I just said? We shot the videos and talked about the vision and what we had before we had it. So that's a big deal for a lot of you who are wondering is what Dave's talked about and what I've talked about when we're telling you to set an intention and set a vision really something that you should do? Well, of course it is. We set an intention the first month to sponsor or build a team of 2,000 people, and we ended up doing almost 9,000 people, right? That's the power of setting an intention and setting a vision. Well, anyways, when we first started, it was kind of funny because we were doing everything. Right? I can remember sitting in that suite in Orlando with a bunch of people. Chris Darty was there. There was a couple other people there. We hadn't showered in three or four days. We were doing presentations. And, and yeah, it was kind of like a hotel meeting, but it was a badass hotel meeting. The most badass hotel meeting I've ever been in. And we were creating the initial stages of what we have now. And I can never forget we had all of these orders sitting on a paper stack and we went to go enter them in. And the website didn't work. We actually could uh, we actually couldn't even process an order, and we didn't know, and then we were looking through the code trying to figure out how to program, because we actually have at times tried to act like coders, and that's why we tell you, don't try to do something that you're not good at, because we were trying to do all of this stuff, like be coders, and be accountants, and be lawyers, and all this stuff, and I'll tell you what, we, we shouldn't be doing that, any of it. And guys, for most of you, neither should you. Neither should you. So. Over the course of the last 12 months, I've seen us come from that stage of basically both still working out of our houses, right? We launched this company like true entrepreneurs launch a company. And a lot of times behind the scenes, there's a lot of stuff going on that people don't see or talk about. People think that getting rich is glamorous. And I tell you what, guys, getting rich is glamorous once you get rich, but you've got to work your ass off to get there. And that's what we did. I could never, I'll never forget, we had customer uh, we were outsourcing and trying to figure out how to build our customer support department and what the best strategy was to expand it and scale 